Numerous historical concepts, trial and error, the growth of the fundamental sciences, technology, and epidemiology all contributed to the history of public health. It evolved through trial and error and with the advancement of scientific medical knowledge, it was occasionally contentious and was frequently sparked by conflict and natural calamities. Specifically, urbanization and social changes, as well as other aspects of the growth of community life, increased the demand for organized health protection. These are a few instances of health-related situations that have occurred. The evolution of public health is a continuing process. Pathogens change, as do the environment and the host. In order to face the challenges ahead, it is important to have an understanding of the past. As the presentation goes on, you will discover the evolution of health throughout the years. 1500 BC, Leviticus, is believed to be the first written health code in the world. The book addressed civic and personal obligations and offered advice on maintaining personal hygiene sexual hygiene practices, avoiding communicable diseases, and isolating lepers. 500 BC, 500 AD, Hippocrates, founder of Western medicine. 1500 to 1700, the Renaissance. Careful accounts of disease outbreaks showed that saints as well as sinners got sick and critical observations led to more accurate descriptions of symptoms and outcomes. John Grunt. The first solid use of data collection for the purpose of understanding health status. Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek was the first to observe bacteria and other microscopic organisms using a rudimentary microscope. Bernardino Ramazzini, published first comprehensive occupational health treatise. 18th century. Epidemics, migration and discovery. Growth and industrialization that brought more and more people to cities in search of work, while this led to overcrowding, poor sanitation and subsequent epidemics. There was a growing recognition of the nature of disease. 1763. Germ warfare. In 1763 in the New World, smallpox-infected blankets were distributed to Native Americans starting an epidemic which killed thousands. 1796. Edward Jenner he published his first paper on the potential for inoculation, which led to the development of the smallpox vaccine. 1798. Marine Hospital Service. In the U.S. federal government created to address health issues relating to maritime trade, such as yellow fever, scurvy and health threats brought to the U.S. from other countries on ships. 1,800. Health quackery thrived. There was a laissez-faire approach to health problems with few health regulations. 1831 to 1832. Cholera. Cholera first came to Sunderland, England. Several epidemics appeared over time throughout England eventually killing more people than the Black Plague. 1820 to 1910. Florence Nightingale. The century also saw the rise of nursing as a profession. She believed that infection arose spontaneously in dirty and poorly ventilated places. 1872. The American Public Health Association. The American Public Health Association was founded. 1900. Yellow Fever Understood. The United States Army Yellow Fever Commission, often called simply the Reed Commission after its leader, Walter Reed proved that the Aedes aegypti mosquito was the vector for yellow fever. 1902. The Public Health Service. The Marine Hospital Service became the Public Health and Marine Hospital Service in recognition of its expanding activities in the field of public health. 1906. Meat Inspection. That the jungle biotin Sinclair graphically depicts conditions in the meat packing industry. Partly as a result of this book and the work of reformers, the U.S. Meat Inspection Act of 1906 was established. 1909. Epidemics. In the early 20th century, the most common cause of death was from contagious diseases bubonic plague hit San Francisco. 1909. Childhood diseases. Major childhood diseases included polio as well as bone deformity due to poor nutrition leading to pellagra and rickets. 1911. Child labor. Approximately 2 million American children under 16 were working in hazardous and unhealthy conditions often 12 hours a day 6 days a week. 1912. Public health and the birth of school nursing. Public health nursing is now widespread due in part to the work that Lillian Wall began late in the previous century and continued into the early 20th century. 1916. Family planning. In 1916 Margaret Sanger published What Every Girl Should Know. It not only provided basic information about such topics as menstruation, but also acknowledged the reality of sexual feelings in adolescence. 1921. Native American Health. The Bureau of Indian Affairs Health Division was created, the forerunner to the Indian Health Service. 1928. Penicillin. Scottish physician Alexander Fleming inadvertently discovered penicillin while studying molds. 1946. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 
What we now know to be the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC was established in Atlanta as the Communicable Disease Center, 1948. The World Health Organization The World Health Organization WHO was established by the United Nations on April 7, 1948. 1948. Fluoridation of water. Fluoridation is the act of adding fluoride ions to water in order to reduce tooth decay in the general population. The polio vaccine. The first inoculations of children against polio began in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on February 23, 1954, 1966. The global impact of vaccines. International smallpox eradication program was established, 1981. A deadly new virus. A mysterious epidemic was identified as acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. It was found to be caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, 1990. Food labeling. The Nutrition Labeling Education Act was signed into law, 1990. Healthy People 2000. CDC published Healthy People 2000. Healthy People 2000 was the blueprint for improving the health of Americans by the end of the century, 2000. HIV AIDS. More than 23 million people with AIDS have died since 1981. Millions more are living with HIV. 2006 mumps. The U.S. saw multi-state outbreaks of mumps reporting more than 6,500 cases in 2006, concentrating mainly in Midwestern college campuses. 2006. E. coli and salmonella. Escherichia coli was first reported in the U.S. in 2006 through the contamination of fresh spinach, with 199 reported cases and three deaths within 26 states. 2009 H1N1 virus, swine flu. 20 cases of swine flu were reported in the U.S., eventually becoming a pandemic flu reaching 208 countries by December and resulting in at least 12,220 deaths. The swine flu was transmitted by pigs as a respiratory disease, usually through contact with farm raisers or participation in fairs. 2012. Whooping cough. Also known as pertussis, this respiratory disease surmounted to 48,277 cases in the U.S. 2012. MERS cov. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome was first found in the Arabian Peninsula and was also associated with the coronavirus once the illness became viral. 2014. Ebola. Ebola was found in Africa near the Ebola River in 1976, but the outbreak that recently caught the world's attention started in Guinea before spreading to neighboring countries. 2016. Zika virus. 84 countries were reported to have Zika virus cases in the Americas, with the first cases reported in Brazil, then spreading in high numbers to New York, Florida and Texas. 2020. COVID-19. On January 30th, the World Health Organization declared a public health emergency of international concern for the new coronavirus, COVID-19, originating from Wuhan, Hubei province in China, 